It's been one week since Maui erupted in wildfires, and people on the island are still learning the extent of the loss. With 99 people confirmed dead, we know that number will likely rise. Ann Makovic joins us now with the very latest. Ann? Now, Liz, more than 1,000 people are still missing. Crews are still uncovering new victims in the ruins of Lahaina as the fires continue to burn. The two biggest fires have already leveled close to 3,000 acres. They are now 85 and 65 percent contained, respectively. Investigators are looking into whether a downed power line might have played a role in starting the fire in Lahaina, but that is still under investigation right now. We do know that heavy winds and high temperatures did make the devastation much worse. Survivors are trying to comprehend what's been lost. I don't think a six-year-old should ever have to see what she saw but she's resilient. There has been an influx of humanitarian aid from private groups like the Red Cross and the Maui Strong Foundation. The Hawaiian National Guard has joined search efforts, and today President Biden addressed the relief coming from Washington. Every asset, every asset they need will be there for them. And we will be there in Maui as long as it takes. Biden says he himself plans to visit Maui as soon as he can, but he does not want to interrupt or disrupt the recovery efforts on the ground. FEMA estimates it's going to cost $5.5 billion to rebuild Lahaina alone. Massive effort there. All right, Ann, thank you so much. And we have more information on how you can help victims of these wildfires. It's on our website, kpix.com.